hello viewers in this tutorial we are going to learn uh, how to make a equivalent transfer functions for more than one parallelly combined transfer functions let's see this diagram here g1 g2 g3 are in parallelly combined uh, conditions uh, we will make a transfer function uh, with g1 plus g2 plus g3 let's see how we can do this go to simulink blank model as a source uh, we will again use a step uh, you can try with another one too now i am going with a step step right step and uh, i will bring uh, bring transfer function g uh, sorry transfer function okay enter okay you, you can uh, copy through control c and control v or control uh, then uh, right click and release okay these are the transfer function uh, and uh, we need to sum them up uh, for this reason we will need a summer just write sum and enter okay this is the summer out there and uh, to show the display uh, we will use a scope enter ok now make the connections left click bring the cursor and release uh, right click bring the cursor and release again right click bring the cursor and release again uh, right click bring the cursor and release right click bring the cursor and release now there uh, there another summing co uh, component so what can you do or do let's just double click out there left click and uh, there are two plus symbol uh, we are going to increase another one okay there are three uh, plus symbol now right okay okay there are three plus symbol now okay uh, what should we do just bring that one left click sorry right click uh, and release okay so this is a uh, summation condition and uh, from there again bring the cursor and release okay now uh, I have to change the transfer function okay I have to change the transfer functions now uh, for G1 okay for G1 we are going to use 1 by s plus 1 which is already there and for g2 we are going to use s plus 1 by s plus 4 uh, now double click out there mm, 1 in the numerator it's only 1 1 and uh, in the denominator is 1 uh, s plus 4 so in the the coefficient of s is 1 and s constant is 4 so there is this one and okay and for g3 uh, it's s plus 3 divided by s plus 5 so let's change this one uh, for s plus 3 1 and 3 for s plus 5 1 and 5 okay I think uh, default step is okay. Uh, let's run the simulation for 20 seconds, I think, and to change the resolution of uh, computation out there. So wait a bit. Okay. Uh, solve bar options. Make it fixed. Okay, and expand that one. Right one 
e minus 3 okay uh, we will have uh, resolution up to 3 decimal okay now run the simulation okay click out there for two times and there's the output okay now we will uh, make a equivalent model for this uh, model of three uh, instead of three transfer function we are going to use just a single one uh, so again bring transfer function okay transfer function out there now <coughs> we are going uh, to use a step a source and a sink we are going to use a scope <coughs> now make the connections change the transfer functions so what should be the equivalent transfer function for three of them uh, let's find out how can you do this <coughs> go to the common window write s equal to tf s Okay. Now uh, we are going to write G1 equal to 1 divided by S plus 1 G2 equal to 1 divided by S plus 4 I think Yeah S plus 4 S plus 4 again for g3 equal to write um, s plus 3 s plus 3 oh, sorry s plus 3 so g3 equal to s plus 3 divided by s plus enter so we have defined all the transfer functions now we will find the parallel equivalent of the three transfer functions write p a r a double l e l parallel uh, g1 parallel g2 comma g3 bracket bracket okay so what we ha I have done out there uh, since parallel uh, the function parallel just can take two uh, two argument I have first of all entered g1 then uh, another function of parallel g2 g3 it will give the uh, give a equivalent uh, output for g1 g3 and uh, the output will uh, make parallel combination with g1 okay now place the let's place the below out there so double click out there um, s cube so coefficient of s cube is one now s square 10 s square so write 10 and 34 s so write 34 and as constant there is 37 so 37 again in the denominator uh, is s cube so coefficient is 1 and 10 s uh, square so write n square and 29 s 29 s and uh, 20 s constant okay yes. uh, extend this one this is the transfer function okay now let's run the simulation okay see this okay let's compare with this one okay. let's see uh, both of them has a similar kind of output so let's change some 
elements in the model instead of making another source and another uh, output just delete them so uh, delete them delete them delete them delete them uh, i will take source from there okay uh, right click out there and release left click and release okay uh, name this line is output to and name this line is output one okay I'm uh, also willing to see the input so let's take a input from there right click and release okay name this line input okay uh, I think I'm done okay let's run the simulation again okay let's see you can see uh, this is the input step and these are the output similar for uh, since we have similar output uh, it's overlapping and we can not distinguish let's uh, bring the ligand out there okay so these are the ligand for yellow it's the input let's see only the input okay this is the input let's see output one okay this is the output one and see this and this is the output two this is all for this tutorial see you in the next one thank you